Hello YouTube, this is Methonical, and this is the September 17th Popper Challenge. Uh, we're going to be playing uh, Boros Monarch for this, and just going to do a quick little uh, introduction and deck sec here. It's basically the stock list of uh, the Monarch, except there's a few little changes. I decided to cut down on like one of the Radiant Fountains for an additional crag. I, I do like having colored sources uh, more than just colorless. The cost of one land and tapped is it's fairly negligible since we still have a lot of untapped lands, bouncing and tapped lands to get all good. Uh, we're going to be playing seven artifact lands. We didn't want to play the I don't want to play the full eight because Gorilla Shaman is a thing and we don't want it to be too effective, but we. Uh, like, we also don't want to have to play all eights. I basically have found that quite often having eight of these uh, two drop artifacts can sometimes clog your hand. So, we're going to cut one of those, go up one great furnace over a mountain, and we're going to turn that vial we're taking out into a third copy of Journey to Nowhere. Uh, the prismatic strands that I used to have main board, I'm actually going to move that to the sideboard and have one Rally the Peasants in the main board. Just kind of like a surprise gotcha. And just having one of this effect is really nice. I found having, I tested having two in this style of deck and they can quite often clog your hand. Having one, you can usually find some place where you can uh, use your little guys to trade up, uh, punch in for a bunch of damage and finish with burn spells, that sort of thing. And the last change I made here was I trimmed one of the Palace Sentinels for one Sense Enlistment. Uh, the Sentinels can occasionally clog your hand, and the Sense Enlistment kind of gives you another angle to have late game staying power. You can cash in all these lands you're drawing with the Sentinels into just additional creatures, and that also does combo with the Rally. Uh, the sideboard, it's pretty similar to what I had last week. Uh, I moved the one strands into the sideboard. Um, I took out the Celestial Flare. I, while it was nice in certain matchups, uh, the strands should serve a similar purpose. Mm -hmm. And then I ended up cutting one of the relics for one circle protection red. Uh, this will be good against uh, Is It Blitz? Uh, should be good against the Togs, Burn, uh, various red decks. I felt like some red matchups are a little quick, and we'd mm -hmm. like to have another defensive card against that. So that's the deck, and yeah, we're going to have plenty of rants for you to watch. Uh, and please let me know uh, along the way how things are going, if uh, things I need to improve on, things I'm doing well. This is my first time recording one of these, so any comments or feedback will be much appreciated. And yeah, please enjoy the series.